today we are going to discuss what is fourier series and how to represent a function in terms of fourier series what is fourier series fourier series is an infinite series fourier series is an infinite series infinite series next year it is a representation of periodic function a periodic function can be expressed in terms of fourier series that is it is a representation of periodic function and it expressed in terms of trigonometric function it expressed in terms of trigonometric function it is an infinite series representation of periodic function express in terms of trigonometric function these are the properties of fourier series fourier series of a function fx can be ex expressed as can be written as fx fourier series of a function fx in the interval minus l to plus l can be written as a0 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos n pi x by l plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n pi x by l the fourier series expansion of a function fx in the interval minus l to plus l can be written as a0 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos n pi x by l plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n pi x by l where a0 is equal to 1 by 2l integral minus l to plus l fx dx fx dx a n is equal to 1 by l integral minus l to plus l fx cos n pi x by l dx and b n is equal to 1 by l integral minus pi to plus pi fx sin n pi x by l dx s0 is equal to 1 by 2l integral minus l to plus l fx dx an is equal to 1 by l integral minus l to plus l fx cos n pi x by l dx bn is equal to 1 by l integral minus pi to plus pi fx sin n pi x by l dx where a0 an a n b n are called r constants a0 an b n are constant if the interval is between minus pi to plus pi in the place of l here is pi limit is minus pi to plus pi then the fourier series expansion f of x is equal to a0 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l here in the place of l it is pi that is pi pi cancelled and a n cos n x plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x and a 0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi f x d x and a n is equal to 1 by pi 1 by pi integral minus pi to plus pi f of f x cos n pi x by l that is cos n x n x d x and b n is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to plus pi f x 
sin nx dx. A0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi fx dx. n is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to plus pi fx cos nx dx. And bn is equal to 1 by pi minus pi to plus pi fx sin nx dx. If the interval is between minus pi to plus pi. Next, we are going to discuss the Fourier series expansion of odd and even function. Fourier series expansion of odd and even function. If fx is even, if fx is even, if fx is even and limit is from minus pi to plus pi. If fx is even and limit is from minus pi to plus pi, value of a0, a0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi fx dx. If fx is even, this integral has a finite value and a0 is present. a0 is present if fx is even. And the value of an is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to plus pi f of x cos nx dx f of minus pi to plus pi f of x cos nx dx. If f of x is even, f of x is an even function, cos nx, we already know that cos nx is an even function. That is even into even. It is an even function and the value exists has a finite value and therefore n is present. And bn is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to plus pi f of x sin nx dx. If f of x is even, f of x even, sin nx is an odd function. Even into odd, that is odd value. That is 1 by pi minus pi to plus pi and odd function. It is integral value is 0. Therefore, bn, bn is equal to 0. Bn is equal to 0. Therefore, the Fourier series expansion of an even function is f of x is equal to a0 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos nx. That is bn term. That is bn term means sin nx term is absent in this series if f of x is even. If f of x is an odd function, the value of a0, a0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi 2 plus pi f of x dx. If f of x is odd, the value of the integral minus pi 2 plus pi and odd function is always 0. Therefore, a0 is 0. a n is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi 2 plus pi f of x cos nx dx cos nx dx f of x is an odd function cos nx is an even function for odd in, into even function it is an odd function therefore the value of the integral minus pi to plus pi an odd function the value of the integral minus pi to plus pi of an odd function is always 0. Therefore, a n is also 0 and b n is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to plus pi f of x sin n x dx. Since f of x is an odd function and sin n x is an odd function. The product of two odd function is always an even function. Product of two odd function is an even function. Therefore, the value of the integral is not equal to 0. That is, bn is present in this series. bn is present. If fx is odd, only bn term is present. Since this is an even function, the limit can be written as 1 by pi. It is an even function. The limit minus pi to plus pi can be written as 2 into integral 0 to pi. 
Since this is an even function, the limit can be written as minus pi to plus pi can be written as 2 into integral 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx. Therefore, only bn term is only sin term is present in this series. If fx is an odd function, only sin term is present in this series. In the next video, we will discuss the problem related to this section.